Very recently, Me Journey has announced their new version, 6, and it claims to be even more realistic than it was ever before. And today I've prepared some of the prompts to see if it's actually good for myself. And I want to take you alongside with me, so let's take a look. So the first prompt that I have is to try to see how the humans would look like with the new version. So to do that, I'll go to Discord and I'll write imagine. And I have a prompt right here, which is a young adult sitting on the beach, beach club with palms in the background. To specify that I want to use the new version, I'll just have to say version six in my prompt and let's see what it looks like. So this is the result that we got. So we have four options. And if I zoom in a little bit, then I can see that both of them or four of them actually look pretty amazing. And uh, I think I can go with the version number three and try to upscale it. So let's do that. So we'll say upscale version three. And from here, we'll upscale it even more. We're now with the new version, we seem to have two buttons, which is upscale and subtle and upscale and creative. So let's try the creative mode. And usually for upscaling to the large image size, it takes longer than just to upscale from the one of the four options that we have. All right, looks like we got something. So let's see the full upscaled version. And this is what it looks like. We can even upscale it a bit more and see how many details we have, which is pretty amazing. And I like how it made it the background blurred. So it has this Polaroid or just lens effect and just the very warm colors of the sunset on the beach, which makes it pretty iconic and just nice in terms of the visual. So yeah, so far so good. Let's go to our next prompt. And for our second prompt, what I have is also a human, but we'll try something else this time. So this time it's a realistic photo of brunette, 20 year old, blue eyes, smiling, close up, crystal clear, sharp image. So we'll see what it gives us this time. We'll not forget to specify version six. We can also change the settings of the mid journey itself to by default use the new version or not. We can always just specify the version in our prompt like this. So let's hit it and set it. All right, so here is our four options. Honestly, all of them look pretty sharp. And I don't know which one should I choose even to upscale. But um, yeah, let's try the first one then. So we'll upscale the first one. As for me, the detailization of this image looks like unreal. At this point, I think it's very hard to understand what is AI and what is the real human. But yeah, for me, it's hard to imagine what the next version seven will look like if this is the version six. All right. And with that said, let's move to our next category, which is the creative objects. And for that, I also have something pretty random. So the first one that I have is a chair that looks like an elephant. And I know it's kind of weird, but this is what I want is something that is kind of not an existing or maybe very rare to exist in our real world. So let's see what the design will look like. Okay, so here's our options. First one doesn't look like something that you can actually use to sit. Second one looks like the elephant chair, but more of the decoration one. Same because of the head, you cannot use it for sitting. Third option looks like it could work because the thing itself looks like it could be moved and it's like soft material. And the option four looks like something that you just sit on top, kind of like the chair for kids. But let's um, upscale version three and see what it looks like in a bigger size. What we can also do is just to say, give us some more options. So yeah, let's take a look into the new options. And right away, I can see that they are pretty different. Where my personal favorite is again version three. So I guess we can upscale it. Let's take a look. So yeah, now that it looks like something that you can actually use for sitting, which doesn't have the back place. Anyway, it seems somewhere comfy and pretty cool. So yeah, let's move on to our next prompt. And for next prompt, I have a closed design and in particular is a t-shirt. So it's a t-shirt for a biker club that says writers on it. And with previous versions, if you did specify some text that you want to have in your image, that sometimes the letters or something like this would not look pretty nice. They would look pretty random. Like it could be literally Chinese symbols or just something very blurry. Sometimes some of the letters will be there. So we'll see if the t-shirt will actually say writers. So I think it's a nice thing to try and let's do it. And it looks like he gave us some designs, which are actually pretty cool. And it says writers, 
but it looks like uh, not a t-shirt but the print for a t-shirt that we can later use and I guess we can also try the same prompt and specify like the t-shirt on a person that has this logo but maybe that is actually even better because if you are about to produce your own t-shirt it is easier for you just to choose the version that you like upscale it and then give it to a print company so they will actually print it but yeah I think that a lot of them are pretty nice the second option has double i in the word writers everything else looks pretty solid so yeah let's go with the option one and take a closer look and i like how it has writers on the chest where it's like you can see with the smaller letters here and also there's like a big logo writers the guy on the motorbike i like how the font and the background and just all of the coloring is also like following the same pattern so yeah i think it's a pretty nice design actually so again so far so good let's go with our next category and for our next category we have something that is popular like mcdonald's so we'll do something like imagine mcdonald's restaurant but on mars so we'll go version six and let's see so here we have these four options where the first one looks like not Mars, but maybe some state in US. The second one looks more of a Mars vibe to me. Other options, like the fourth option looks like the McDonald's is closed or haven't been maintained for years on Mars. The third one is McDonald's, but has McDog logo on it, which is pretty funny. So I think so far the second option is the best. So let's upscale it. And yeah, that's actually pretty impressive. Again, looks pretty cinematic. And we didn't even specify a lot of options like how it should look like. We just basically gave our idea and we let AI decide how it should look like. And of course, if you give more details to your prompt, probably the image will look better and closer to what you actually expect from it. But even as you see on this example, even if you don't specify almost anything, you just say McDonald's on Mars, It'll still look pretty cool. So yeah, let's try something else. And we also have the Darth Vader. Let me say, imagine Darth Vader drinking a beer in a bar. Again, we'll not specify how the shoot will look like, what style it should be. We'll just specify the version. And I think what I've noticed so far is that when you don't really specify much details, by default, it tries to go with something more realistic. Sometimes it'll go with a bit of the digital art style, but very rarely will it come up with like anime style or something else. And let's see what it generated for us. Again, all of the options look pretty cool. The first option is him with two beers. Second one is him being alone, but you can kind of see more details on his suit. The first looks more of a poster because it doesn't look like too realistic, more of a digital art feel to it. So, actually not sure which version is the best here but let's say we'll go with just version 2 and let's see upscaled version yeah also looks like slightly a digital art we can specify to make it look more realistic but i think this is also pretty cool and also so far i haven't seen the problem with the multiple fingers with the previous versions of ai you've seen like five six fingers here mostly it looks like it's five fingers so it looks like there have been some improvements on that side as well. And for our next category, I want to try something slightly more professional, which is generating design, which could be like logo types or websites. So first one that I have is a logo type. So the prompt is generate a logo type for a sushi restaurant with ninja and fish on it. Let's see what it looks like. So here are some of our options. Again, I didn't specify that it should be minimalistic. I didn't specify none of the details about the style itself. I just said I need the logo type and this is what I want on it. But again, you can try to specify exact details on how you want your logo type to be. And I think it'll be pretty accurate. But let's see what it generated for us with just the keywords of ninja and a fish for sushi place. I really like the fact that ninja is kind of cooks sushi here where he kind of kills the fish on the fourth option. And the third option also looks nice. Second option didn't seem to follow the fish theme that much, but it has some waves. And first one also just looks kind of cute with the fish 
So let's just upscale the first version. So yeah, looks pretty solid. But with the logo type creation itself, I don't see a huge step from version five. But I think, again, if we were to specify slightly more details, like make it a Lego style and then make it symmetric and things like this, I guess it will look better. And for the next prompt in this category, I want to try to create a website design. So I want a website design, which will be a linear page for snowboard store. And let's add that we want version six and let's take a look what it looks like. Immediately, I see that most of these options are actually on device. So I think where the first option is something more that I would expect. And the second option is also kind of inspirational, but everything else is a, uh, so this is like mobile version. This is kind of weird. So let's try the same problem, but this time we'll just specify just the landing page without saying without website design. And we'll see if it actually changes anything. And this time it'll be just the landing page UI without the device. All right, let's take a look if anything changed this time. Yeah, I like the fours option in terms of the design, but that doesn't look like a snowboard. That's one and second doesn't look like it's safe to use <laughs> to use it this way with the cross. All of them look pretty nice. So let's try to do version four. And still we can see that some of the text that goes on the link page is still kind of gibberish. But I guess that is fine and is expected since this is just the showcase of design. So for example, you can replace the skiing guy with a snowboard. But the idea of the red mixing with the snowy mountain and the guy is kind of like the backgroundless version that skis on top and there is snow all around the website. For me, it looks pretty cool. So yeah, I guess that is it. As you see, for most of the parts when it comes to generating realistic faces of non-existent people or when using popular things like McDonald's brand or Darth Vader character, it was pretty amazing and seems like it's a huge step ahead from the previous versions and an amazing tool to use. So yeah, I would encourage you to try it for yourself and let me know what you think in the comments. So thanks for watching and see you in the next one.